Living on an island means our aina, the land, deserves special care and respect. Whether your home has a cesspool or not, the presence of cesspools in our communities affects us all. Our ocean, river, and stream waters may appear clear and pristine, but untreated wastewater contamination can still be present. The risks that cesspools pose to both human and environmental health have been documented by Hawaii's government, the scientific community, and citizen volunteers. Gastrointestinal illnesses and skin infections have been linked to exposure of sewage pollution in ocean and fresh water. It's not just tourism and recreation at stake. Cesspools can pollute our drinking water supply. We rely on groundwater wells for more than 90% of the fresh water we consume on the islands. We are beginning to see that sources of the foods we love, like our native limu, and the health of many reef ecosystems are imperiled by the human waste carried to coasts in submarine groundwater discharge. Pollution of this discharge pathway threatens our food security, Hawaiian cultural practices, and our island way of life. The threat of sewage contamination will increase as more cesspools are exposed to rising water tables, sea levels, extreme weather events, and changing coastlines over the coming decades. But it's not just cesspools located along the shoreline that impact human and environmental health. Many factors including soil characteristics, distance to wells, cesspool density, and precipitation play a role in transporting pollution to surface and groundwater, eventually ending up in the ocean. Cesspool pollution affects everyone, and their conversion to better forms of wastewater treatment is a community priority. Conversion will reduce the amount of pollution impacting nature and humans. It also provides other benefits like improving property values and community resilience. For more information on cesspools in your neighborhood, visit hawaiicesspooltool.org. This video was produced by the Hawaii Department of Health, University of Hawaii Sea Grant College Program, and the Water Resources Research Center at the University of Hawaii.